welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got a house over here, or the home card, and uh, this is talking about stability. You might be thinking about buying a new house or you might even be moving home as well with this particular card. So there's some family or some home issues, maybe some home expenses as well that you're actually dealing with at the moment. Now you're finding a lot of answers or solutions to problems that you're going through at the moment. So there are uh, solutions coming in for you there with that key card. As far as your work goes, uh, you know, you can see that you're in a leadership position over there, starting maybe, in, maybe you've just started a new job. It might have been a job that worked where you worked in a, a rather big company or you're you're going to be working in a big company right now. You've got the bear, and the bear talks about big institutions or big companies that you work for, and you're taking on a leadership role over here, and maybe you're um, in charge of a lot of people uh, or leading a project of some sort over there, but some kind of leadership position that you're doing at the moment. So you had uh, a bit of problems, you know, maybe with finances in the past, um, and uh, it looks like you're working very, very hard. You've got that three of pentacles over there to save money over there in that closet. There might have been some expenses that came on, but you've been, uh, you know, working very hard to save money. And like I said, you've been, uh, you've probably got a new job offer that came in for you, and it is in some big company, and it is a leadership position with that bear card. You might have also been dealing with somebody that was, um, you know, a bit overbearing, as they say. Uh, so somebody that might have been giving you a little bit of difficulties uh, in the past. Uh, somebody who is a bit of a bully uh, is the person that you might have been working with in the past. Now, going into the future, you've got that handshake card over there. So meeting a lot of people, going to a lot of business meetings, um, you know, a lot of collaboration going on coming in for you there. And uh, you've got that eight of... Um, spades over there and uh, this is still feeling a bit restricted there's some kind of obstacle that you have to overcome there's some kind of problem that might arise and that's going to take a lot of effort on your part so something uh, this is the mountain card and this usually talks about obstacles or problems that could uh, come by uh, you know uh, be causing you a little bit of a hassle um, so a lot of meetings coming up for you, a lot of collaboration coming up for you. There might be some kind of issues going on as far as the home life goes, uh, but you will find solutions to that problem because you've got that key card over there, and that's opening the doors for things to come in for you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to use the Ramses Tarot for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the death card over here. So it looks like you've ended an old situation and moved on um, to something new. You were feeling very, very restricted in that old job that you were doing. And maybe this is the reason why you've um, brought it all to a close uh, and ended it and moved on, really, uh, with that death card. So there was that offer that came in over here for that Knight of Cups. You had to make some kind, or you have to make some kind of decision. So maybe this is the death card is uh, what's going on at the moment. Maybe you're ending that situation because there's so much of drama that is going on over here. You can see that with the Eight of Swords, and that Eight of Swords is also talking about feeling very restricted. You can see with that mummy all bound up over there, feeling restricted in this particular work. But this new offer has come in for you, and you have to make a choice. Uh, so this uh, offer is coming in or has come in for you. Now you've got the Devil card over here, so. So whatever this new offer is, um, you know, it, it's going to take a lot of hard work on your part. You might be really chained to that job quite a bit. Uh, so long hours, uh, maybe working on just other people's authority. Um, so it's going to be something. And, uh, you know, the, the devil card talks about not being negative about the situation. So try and be positive. Keep a positive attitude. There might be somebody that's standing in your way of getting this new job as well. Because you've got this huge obelisk standing, you know, on in front of these, the staircase here. And it's got the Horus, uh, God of Horus, God Horus in front, of, uh, carved on the stone itself. So, uh, you know, this is about, um, you know, he was the king of the underworld or the God of the underworld. So there is somebody around you, uh, you know, that might be obstructing uh, you from making progress or going up that um, 
uh, success uh, ladder, really, or maybe uh, somebody preventing you from um, getting promotions. Um, you know, maybe this offer has come in, but this person is just standing in your way of getting that particular job or getting that particular promotion. So you're dealing with that at, that, at this moment, um, and you want to cut ties. Maybe, maybe this situation uh, has caused you to want to end. Uh, the uh, you know end uh, the the situation itself and move on. So somebody is uh, causing a little bit of drama over there for you, or a little bit of problems, creating obstacles for you, and that's um, causing some difficulties for you for for progress. You've got the Knight of Wands over here in the past, so you may have uh, even changed jobs. So this might have been a new job that you started. Uh, the Knight of Wands is about starting something afresh uh, in a new country or maybe even dealing with a lot of people. There might have been a lot of travel that's involved with this particular job, a lot of communication, or dealing with a lot of foreigners, really. Now, in the past few months, you've got the Two of Pentacles, so you have been uh, looking at your finances uh, quite carefully, really, uh, you know, doing some kind of financial assessment. Um, maybe you feel like this job that you're doing right now, you know, is not paying you adequately. So you're working a lot for very less pay, it seems, with this particular job. And maybe this is the reason why you want to move on. Now, the Two of Pentacles is also about being offered or presented uh, with a uh, a choice. Uh, so there might be a choice of jobs that is coming up for you here, uh, having to decide which particular one is going to pay you the, be uh, the best salary, really. So you are planning on moving on or you're moving on and you've got some offers that came in. So there's two offers here with this two of pentacles and it looks like you're weighing your options there. Now you've got the six of pentacles here. So you have been working very, very hard at your job and really not making that much of money and it looks like somebody's been watching over you so this might have been this devil card um, you know this Horus uh, energy coming through where you know somebody's manipulative they're controlling they're monitoring everything that you do all the time um, you know and even though you're working very hard uh, you know they're still creating problems for you not allowing you to progress forward this is something that's been on your mind now, going to the future, you've got the King of Pentacles over here. So, you know, if you get a new job or if you start this new job, it's going to, you know, give you a position of leadership. This is the money card. You can see he's got a lot of coins on that cushion over here. So a cushion number, really, and uh, quite a good job. It's going to be paying you really, really well. So this new job offer that comes in with this uh, Knight of Cups, it's going to put you in a position where you're going to be earning very, very well. Also, very, very, uh, very much a leadership position as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, so make sure that you're grounded, practical, and you have some kind of plans in place as well, uh, you know, uh, but it looks like a, a new job coming in for you and a, a really good one at that because it's going to, you know, put you um, uh, in a position of authority and bring in the money. Now you've got the King of Wands, and this is your card. So you are coming across as a person uh, who is, uh, you know, very much uh, in charge. Uh, you know, you are managing to gather all your intel. You, you've got some choice to make over here in the background. Here you can see this uh, uh, painting carrying two, um, what are they, straw bales there or um, wheat uh, bales there. So you've got some kind of choice that you have to make over there. But right now you're coming across as that king of wands, as somebody who is very dynamic, uh, somebody who, um, you know, gets along well with people, can take a, uh, authority, is very clever as well, because you've got that little monkey. You seem to know everything that's going on around you. And that is how people, uh, you know, are perceiving you as well. So you've got that Queen of Wands as well. So this is, well, the Queen of King of Wands is what you're coming across as or, or what you are about uh, in authority. But the Queen of uh, Wands is basically how people are perceiving you. They are uh, seeing you as that Queen of Wands. Now, these two cards belong to Sagittarius, uh, the fire signs. And so these are your cards. So as the Queen of Wands, you know, you've got that eye over there. So you see everything. Uh, and you're somebody who is pretty laid back. Uh, you know, you don't take anything too seriously uh, in the sense that you're not... Um, you're not really, you know, stuck up or, or somebody who is uh, full of themselves, uh, but you're a person of authority and people have got that admiration for you. And, you know, you're coming across as being a very approachable person as well with that Queen of Wands. And somebody who can work in a stressful situation um, and, uh, you know, you use your intuition and you get the job done as well. That's how people are seeing you.
now uh, what's in your mind you've got the ace of swords so you want to win in the situation there's been some toxicity that you've been dealing with maybe a lot of aggressive people you want to move forward but also you want to get control of that situation now going into the future you've got uh, the seven of pentacles the six of wands and the two of cups there so the seven of pentacles um you know it's about uh needing to uh, get some kind of assistance uh, some kind of help financially so you might be going through a period where you know you've uh, not got enough funds um, and you might need to be taking out a loan or you are asking for some kind of financial assistance here it looks like you you may be even thinking about buying a new home over there you've got that home in the background over there and this is about maybe going and getting a loan or getting a mortgage or something it looks like it will come to you if you decide uh, you want to do that you've got that baby in the back over there so maybe you know you have a family to look after and you want to buy a new home uh, and you're going to be asking for some kind of uh, you know money uh, or financial assistance you've got the six of wands over here and this is generally a victory card uh, about you know being uh, victorious after going through a lot of problems and a lot of hassles it looks like you're going to be working pretty hard over here and somebody's going to be helping you as well and you're coming up with some very very interesting ideas about how to solve problems as well and you can see the clouds moving away so whatever difficulties you've had uh, are going to start moving away from you're moving away from those difficulties and those burdensome situations if you've been dealing with people that have been giving you trouble it seems like maybe they move away from you as well and you've got that two of cups over there so uh you know this is about uh you know um getting uh, collaborating with somebody uh, that understands you, uh, somebody who's very supportive of you, um, and you've got that brand new sunrise coming in over there. So you know you're starting something brand new. You will have a lot of people that support you over here. You'll be able to make you know some good uh, business relations uh, where you're working at. You rely on your intuition and act independently. Uh, and uh, you know uh, you'll be able to um, uh, achieve things um, so there are lots there is a lot of support for you um, wherever you're going to be working at the moment and you know you'll be making some really good friends over there so getting over difficulties coming up with some very innovative solutions to problems and maybe you know even needing to get some financial assistance or even maybe taking out a loan to buy a home uh, really looks it looks like it's coming in for you there so uh, with that king of pentacles, you know, it's about stability. It's also about, uh, you know, getting the money coming in as well. So this is a particularly good offer and it's something that you should really uh, take on. Uh, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the fairy tarot and this is the oracle reader. You've got the two of spring over here. So a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams and great progress being made. So you are going to be working with somebody. You can even see that with that two of cups there. Uh, that is going to be really, uh, it's going to be a good relationship, a good business relationship. Uh, somebody who understands you, you understand them, and you're going to be able to pr um, you know, um, produce the fruits uh, by working and collaborating with each other. Uh, so you've got the nine of summer over here, which is your wishes uh, being fulfilled. Uh, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time in life. So whatever you want, you're going to be able to get. And with the assistance of this person that you're partnering with, you can see there's two people over here as well, uh, you're going to be able to achieve all the goals that you're looking to achieve. And then finally, the chariot card, which is the success card, which says success that comes from dedication and self-discipline, celebrating your accomplishments and being in the spotlight. And again, there are two dragonflies here. So you can see working to get, you know, working, being dedicated, uh, you know, making sure that you are following your goals. It's going to take a lot of self-discipline. So you're going to have to do a lot of hard work in this particular job. But, uh, you know, you will be able to achieve uh, success. And this person that is coming in to help you is going to be a really good friendship. It's a very good friendship. Um, and it's a very good partnership that goes on. Uh, and, you know, you will understand each other. And together, you will be able to achieve uh, with that chariot card. So a lot of success coming in, and there's money coming in as well. Uh, but you're also getting this new partnership that comes in. Uh, and you're cutting out the old job, and you're moving forward as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.